the King William Raiders out of Richmond, Virginia, excel to excellence football program, which I am the executive director of. Of course. Look Stay at their phones. I love them. The that. little ladies. It's pretty, it is pretty dope. Up. King William Raiders. Good job, guys. The rock and the pink laces. Of course. I love, so so love it. You know, we got to get it right. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. Yeah, Tweet us our picks moment. using the hashtag nice. Let's Play Football. All right, it's one of our favorite segments of the week. It's Don't At Me with Adam Rank, and Adam appears to be joining us from a retirement home. Wow, he gets around. Um, he took the train there. Just in front of Adam, the train. that was quick. You're already retired? Well, no, no, no. We're talking about some veteran quarterbacks this week, and oh. some who will, who will be joining uh, Tony uh -oh. Romo, who's got a water aquatics class here. Peyton Manning does some yeah. seminars here. So, you know, it's just, you know, there's a couple of guys who are. Getting closer, so I wanted to discuss yeah. them Mike this week. Yeah, well, Jay Cutler, I mean, he, he went to Subway. No, he's not allowed. His place. All right, well, so we've talked about Big Ben a lot in our show, Ike. Um, what's your prediction for him tomorrow against the Chiefs, Adam? I'm expecting a big bounce back game for Big Ben. He's going to outscore Matthew Stafford, who's got a pretty tough matchup against the New Orleans Saints. And here's the thing I heard you guys talking about Big Ben. The whole thing with Ben is he, he seems, and I, Ike, I know you would know better, but he seems pretty needy because he always talks about his injuries. He had that retirement thing. And then this week he goes full HBK saying that he lost his smile. And it's like he's like the guy who always hits maybe on the e-bike because he needs everybody to beg him to go. Like, we need you. Please come. And I know because I'm that person. Like, I did, my wife set up an e-bike for our rehearsal dinner. I hit maybe. So I understand that you need that kind of, you need people to come in and embrace you, and I think now that that's happening, in a game that he probably shouldn't do well at, because he doesn't done historically well on the road over the last couple of years, a game against the best team in the AFC, of course this is the week that he comes out and throws five touchdowns and everything like that. So I expect a huge game for Big Ben. Yeah, and you mentioned just coming out and embracing. I feel like Eli Manning kind of needs a hug right now, a big hug based on what he's dealing he's with. An There's not a lot of weapons with him, and they're going to be no, in Denver. The linemen are hugging him. That's right. Yeah, that's not <laughs> the hug they want. So, what, what's, what's the people think at first and forever retirement home? They think that Dak Prescott is going to outscore Eli Manning this week. And while you're sitting at home being like, wait a minute, Dak Prescott is on a bye. Yeah. Exactly. I would not start, if I had a choice between starting no quarterback and starting Eli Manning, I wouldn't want to risk getting negative points. A number of quarterbacks have had negative points this year, including Ben Roethlisberger last week. So don't feel like because Eli's a big name that he needs to be in your starting lineup. You can go out and pick out a number of guys who could come in and help you. Jacoby Reset's available. Kevin Hogan is available. And by the way, by the way, I, I know I didn't mention this before, but if the Texans had stuck with Tom Savage, we would have Savage versus Hogan, the mega powers, playing in that matchup. But it's okay. I'll take Deshaun Watson instead. Yeah, I, I, it feels Rest like the Giants are always WWE first Rest and forever. Right there, right? Listen, dude, I don't get it, but I, it took me two questions before I finally got first and forever. That's yeah, got it, got there it, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Garofalo. Okay, what about 38-year-old Josh McCown? He's going against the worst defense in the league in the Patriots. Here's another guy. I would absolutely start this guy. Like, he's here. He was, he was on his way here, but the Jets pulled him in. Like, no, no, no. We'll let you play here. So, he, he's, and he's got, as you said, Colleen, he's got a great matchup against the New England Patriots, who've allowed the most fantasy points to quarterbacks this season. And he's played really well over the last couple of weeks. He is second in the NFL in completion percentage, which is over 70%. He's had a passer rating above 100 in three of his last four games. So, again, if you're scrambling for a quarterback, if you got a guy on a bye like Dak Prescott, or you've got Eli who's basically on a bye, and uh, I would go ahead and pick up Josh McCown right now, get him into your lineup. I see him having a couple of touches, and there's a nice sleeper uh, slot receiver in this game too. Jeremy Curley has been great. He's caught, he's got every target, so he's a pretty good option for you. He doesn't need to go here yet. Start him this week. Yeah, I mean, look, I know, I know you love Jay Cutler. He he was there for just a hot minute, really, but he's thrown a total of three touchdowns and three interceptions in the first four games. So, are you going to be the president here of the Cutler fan club still? I didn't want to have to do this today. Oh no. But. Oh no. Jay Cutler, I'm going to have to retire your jersey. We've had a lot of good times, Cuddy and I. There was the time he 
He lit up Robert Golden on a Sunday night football game. Mm. And that was pretty much it. That was, that, was, that was it. That was the good time. It was one play Shortless, yeah. in one game against the Steelers. But I just, I can't do it anymore. Every week I come here and I, I try to tell people that he's still a good quarterback. Don't cry. And he is. Don't cry. He, hey, Ryan. Yeah. He's a good quarterback. I get it, Ring. Mike Glenn. Should, hey, what y'all gave Mike Glennon to be a backup, he should be retired also. Yeah. <laughs> I would. Why was he even brought? Why did you even bring him? Why did you even bring Mike Glennon? Well, who invited this guy? I mean, the money y'all like gave him, he should retire. They wanted to burn some yeah, money. Yeah. You, you can take that. He's currently. getting paid. Why would he retire? Because he's got he the can. best gig out there. Now he's getting 16 mil. He wears the red jersey in practice, and that's it. He just hang, he, he gets to play in Chicago. Adam Rank, you did it again this week. We'll see you next week. And take that jersey, save the spot for Jay Cutler at first and forever because he's probably going to need it soon. All right. Bye, Rank. Don't you retire anytime soon. We asked you guys earlier in the show, Adrian Peterson, would he rush for 81 yards in his first game with the Cardinals? That would be more than he rushed for with the Saints in four games. 54% said no. I think they're listening to me. I, no. I don't think it's going to happen either. I just think that's Jason Aaron. back there just hit that uh, button. Aaron. Oh, man. I don't know. Carson Palmer, he just throws the ball. Throws, throws, throws. Sorry, AP. That's it for Good Morning Football Weekend for Six. We'll be back first thing tomorrow. Get Walker. Get